Revelations chapter 13, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That's Hebrew. Interpret. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right. Now, you know, this, if you didn't know, now you know. You know, this year by uh, Elder Apostle Tahar was coined the year of prophecy. Because why? Prophecies are going to take its place. It's going to come to pass. And uh, this is just basically an update. You know, I've seen brothers with, uh, sharing me uh, videos and and uh, different articles on this uh, latest news. But this came out about four months ago. All right. Which is uh, Amazon apparently wants to turn your hand into an ID for store purchases. Now, this is not the mark of the beast because obviously they're not talking about implanting the chip inside the inside the customer's hands uh, inside their hand. You know, this is a process, you know, for for customers and, you know, sheeple to um, to uh, voluntarily and start being conditioned in a way of paying for things digitally and more fast, you know, which they'll say is more convenient. You know, here it is, You before you have to pay with what cash, you know, you probably pay with card. Some people pay with phones, but they're speeding the process even up even quicker. And all these things is test runs and, and to mold in the behavior, you know, basically to accept this RFID microchip which the Bible calls it the mark of the beast to be incisioned and inserted inside your hand. Because at the end of the day, that is the end goal. Okay. The end goal for these elites, the agenda of their new world order is that everyone will be microchip. All right. So these are things that are leading up to it, gearing and conditioning, you know, people so that when they do roll out uh, here in the States, because it's happening around the world, China, Sweden, um, um, East India, they already uh, taking chips and having this type of society uh, of convenience with, with, with the implant of the chip inside the hand, okay, in the body, they're going to have to do it here, all right, which is America, which is America is known as Babylon the Great, which means great confusion, okay, and, um, you know, it's going to happen here, all right, this is the great kingdom, this is the most sinful kingdom on the planet earth. All right. Uh, what's that? Uh, Amos uh, 9 and 8. All right. The Lord said his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, you know, and uh, it makes sense because when you read Revelations 12 and 12, he comes down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. Of course, this place will be in this catch up mode. You know, America and society here is, is striving to catch up. Uh, America is behind. When it comes to um, technology and the society is using it, you know, when it compared to China and these other different countries, Sweden, you know, so it makes sense that Revelations 12 and 12, he cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. It just makes perfect sense. It lines up perfectly. And that's why we know and we believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who is the true and living power. That's, for, that's that's fulfilling these prophecies is which is written in the scriptures. All right. So there you go. The article title is Amazon apparently wants to turn your hand into an ID for store purchases. You know, you go to Whole Foods, they tied up with Amazon, you know. And uh, I remember years ago, I did a video on a GMS Helmet of Salvation. And uh, they was basically, it was the time they was... Uh, bringing in uh, the start of wristbands, the start of wristbands um, uh, into the amusement parks, and um, <clears throat> and and um, 
And at the amusement parks, you know, you've seen all these kids with these different color uh, wristbands, you know. So this is not nothing new. This is them basically in process because eventually everyone, according to them, according to the Rothschilds, according to the House of Esau, the elites, which the world called the one percenters, skull and bones, Illuminati, according to them, ac according to them, um, everyone will be microchipped. So anyway, I'm going to just read a little bit of the article and, um, you know, you can go look this up, Google it, Google search it. You know, this came out about four months ago, but it says Amazon is reportedly working on speeding up checkouts at its physical stores by using your hand as a form of identification. All right. Now, that's clearly in the realm and in process of the RFID microchip. All right. This is all uh, leading up to that, you know using your hand for identification because uh if you don't know what the rfid microchip uh is you got to look it up you know first off it's a radio frequency identification chip and with this small device insert, insert, inserted inside your hand it becomes a new form of identity at the swipe of the hand all right to pull up your, your birth certificate you know basically where you was born you know if the pro the chip is programmed all right. You know, there's many different RFID chips that can do certain things. You got RFID chips that can open up, um, can start car, car doors, you know, can open up car doors, can start cars. You know, you might have a chip that can open up your house door. You know, I forgot the name of the guy, the Edomite. You know, he basically uh, have everything around his house dealing with frequency, radio frequency. All right. And um, the chips that will be going into people will be RFID microchips, radio frequency identification chips. And these chips will basically be for your new form of identity, all right, how you identify yourself. It will also be a new form of currency where for you can buy or sell, you know. And if you don't have it eventually, the way that Esau's mindset is, is that society will go this way and the old way will be out, you know. You won't be able to buy or sell. If everything is digital, in order to buy for things and pay for things, is all through digital currency, you know, through a microchip, how would you be able to pay for things without it, you know? So, it's a new form of identity. It's a new form of currency. You know, you're not using physical money. You don't have the Federal Reserve note, which is the dollar bill. You know, it's all, uh, uh, all digital. You know, it's also... Um, a GPS tracker, because let alone uh, it's a microchip where they can identify you. They can also GPS you. Every phone that we have, uh, smartphones, are GPSs. You know, we can use a GPS to navigate ourselves across America, you know, across the world. You know, I'm pretty sure if you can go to another country, I know in some places the phones don't work. In some places, the phones may work. You can still use what? Your GPS. So that GPS, that chip, the microchip is inside of all of our phones. So you will become a, G you will become a GPS where someone can GPS track you. All right. And uh, that gives Esau, okay, that gives these Edomites the power to be as God, to know where you at at all times, you know, to have all records of you, you know. Okay. You know, um, all, while, while it's in planet, this is another thing. And I'm just spewing this out. Uh, but these things you can look up for yourself if you don't think it's true, which I advise to look it up for yourself anyway. So you'd be more well convinced in what the scriptures are talking about and have the true understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and his word. Is that the chip, when it's inside your body, it also hijacks your brainwave. Okay? <laughs> to the point where... It can control your emotions. You know, it can control the way you think. All right. It can give a, a signal off to your brain waves, which which can make you ill. You know, hey, it's that deep. It's that deep, man. You know, so that's just a few things that the chip does. All right. And that's why the Lord calls it the mark of the beast, you know, because a lot of people like to scoff. You know, the chip ain't the mark of the beast, the chip, no, this and that. No, the chip is the mark of the beast, and there's nothing else. 
Christianity is not the mark of the beast. Embargo is not the mark of the beast. All right. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast without a shadow of a doubt. And that's why I'm reading this article, because this article is in process of headed down that direction. All right. There's other countries that I mentioned that are using this full effect 100 percent, you know, and this is why Esau wants to put up cameras everywhere. Because if you GPS, if he put a chip inside of you and you got cameras everywhere, he can always see where you at, you know, and if you're not according and if you're not going according to society and having this chip, eventually you're going to be called what? A terrorist, a criminal. You're going to be off the grid. You're going to be a bad guy. All right. So anyway, let's continue. I'm going to read a little more. It says, according to a report by New York Post, the retail giant is said to be quietly testing new scanners that can identify human hands to make a store purchase. The company intends to roll out the payment technology at its Whole Foods supermarket chain starting next year. All right, and this was just four months ago, so obviously this was 2019, and we're in 2020. I believe this is in September. All right. Yep, September. And we're in 2020, man. Um... No, they ain't really. I was just going to play the video. I thought that was related, but it probably got a commercial in there. Um, it says, while a regular card transaction typically takes between three and four seconds, Amazon new technology can process the charge in less in less than 300 milliseconds, it reported. So obviously things are fast when it takes only three to four seconds, you know, using your phone and, you know, using... um. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess your phone. Now they want to speed it up and it's less than 300 milliseconds now. You see, it's like the devil, he has, he never has enough, you know, but this is the end goal anyway. All right. This is Bible prophecy. We're living in Bible prophecy, man. It says the system code name is Orvel. All right. Orvel. So I tried to look that up. It just, it really, only thing I got was it's, it meant golden town. And there's a movie called Orville. And um, I tried reading that, seeing if the movie was, you know, based around the meaning of this word. And, um, you know, it's really a made up word. All right. So it's not really nothing out of it unless a brother could find something out of that. But it says the system code name is Orville and intends only for prime subscribers. All right. And, uh, you know, when you're a prime subscriber, you can go to Whole Foods and you can get a discount if you use your prime code, you know. So it's being currently uh, trialed by Amazon employees at its New York City's offices, using it to buy sodas, chips and granola bars from vendor machines. All right. Um, you know, that yeah, that's basically it. You know, I'm going to leave it there. You know, you can read this article yourself. Just Google it. Uh, T and W. And um, there you go, man. You know, this is the year of prophecy. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, the summertime, maybe before the, this year is out, you know, there will be more commercials. There will be more, uh, uh, more, let's say, avid, let's say more, more of this system. Esau's pit, you know, and all his um, wicked branches of... Um, Controlling everyone is going to be more centered around taking this RFID microchip, which is the Bible calls the mark of the beast. All right. So with that, I hope you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.